Yeah. So we're going to end up now with a minus 175 in yeah. the left eye as the best vision sphere. So we're going to put a minus 175 in there. And that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's okay. Equal. Dead equal now. Dead equal. So we're going to remove this occluder and I'm going to put what we found in the other eye, which was a minus 325. So we've now got the best vision sphere in place. Remember, when the best vision sphere is working, it's doing its job, it means that the circle of least confusion is on the retina. And that gives us the best compromised vision with a spherical lens. So here we have the, um, the best vision sphere. Now, one of the things that happens when you are testing monocularly is that the, the eyes accommodate slightly differently to when you're doing it binocularly. So it's very good to do a little bit of a balancing uh, test just to get the eyes balanced. Um, so that they can work together more comfortably. And to do that, we're going to add a plus 075. It's called a fogging lens over the... Um, we're going to start with the right lens first. So we're going to just put a plus 075 in the left, the left eye. So that is now we've now fogged out the left eye and we're just going to just double check a little bit with that um, right lens now with the the left fogged mm -hmm. so looking at the chart now the letters yeah. can you tell me whether that makes it any clearer or not really uh, can you do it again it's, um, it's very marginal let's do it again uh, I would say that is slightly better, but it's very hard to say. It's very, very slightly better. Very slightly. With it, yeah. With it. Yeah. It's well. You're not sure. So, okay. It's so close, I can't really right. So I yeah. think we'll leave it without. So we're yeah. st we're staying. Whoops. We're staying with the minus three two five. Just uh, because we've got a bit of an odd um, thing going on with the colours here. <laughs> um, both of these trial lenses are minus, just in case you're wondering. Um, I seem to be using two different trial sets at the moment. So we're going to fog out the right lens now, and we're going to check the, uh, the left eye. So I'm going to do the same again. We're just going to try a bit of a minus 025 with the right lens fogged out. So looking at the letters on the chart, can you tell me if this makes them clearer or not much difference? Can okay, you do it again? Uh, do it one more time. Um, it, it makes no difference. No difference? No, they're exactly the same. Okay, and I'll just try a tiny little bit of a plus. Okay, does that make any difference? Um, oh, could you do it again? It's, it, it, again, it's no different. Right, I think that we've yeah. we've arrived. So I'm going to remove that now. Yeah. And uh, so we've taken. Now that does seem very comfortable and very, okay. very clear. And the green and red. Right. Surfaces are the same. As I just want to just put a pair of minus O two fives up now. Okay, I'm just going to put two minus O two fives up. Yeah. If you could just look at the line on the chart. Yeah. Do they do any improvement or not really? Uh, not really. No. Okay. Yeah. I think we've arrived then. This is we've we've mm. sort of checked the balance, the binocular balance. I think the eyes are working best with what we found before, which is minus three two five in the right, and minus one seven five in the left. Now, one of the things that we could do at this stage, um, because he sees so well with just spherical lenses, we could just assess his reading prescription. So we're just going to go through the procedures of, of examining for um, the reading requirements that they may have. As we know with reading that after the age of about 40, normally the eyes don't accommodate so well, so they need a bit more help for close. So we're going to just work out what we need to do for reading. And it's going to be literally just putting a plus spherical lens on top of the existing uh, prescription and then that will tell us what his reading prescription will be. Right, well I managed to find another red lens to match the other one so we've got two, two uh, lenses that are the same color this time which will help. We've got a chart so I'm going to ask the, the gentleman to please hold the chart at a comfortable reading distance. Now bear in mind that people do like to do things at different distances close up so it's, it's important that uh, we test them for the appropriate distance for them. 
So um, if you could just have a look down and see how far down the chart you can see. Uh, well, I can read obviously the big ones at the bottom easily, and yeah. the top two are be, uh, slightly blurred. They're slightly blurred. Yeah, I would tend okay. to, to hold them slightly further away. Right. So when the, that accommodation goes, the, the the patient will tend to want to hold their reading a bit further away. He's not. He's not massively. Uh, presbyopic. He doesn't need a huge plus, but I think we'll try maybe start with a plus 150 and see how that that works for him. So we got, um, I'm just going to offer up a plus 150. If you'd like to look down at the chart there and tell me whether that makes it any better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Right. Yeah, that's a lot better. I can read all of it easily. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put the, the plus 150 in the trial frame. So this is now. This will obviously this will blur up his um, his distance vision. So we are only look interested in the reading now. So looking down, can you show me how far you need to hold it to seek to seek well? I mean that's about comfortable there. I'm okay. Like, and yeah, that but I think that's a bit blurred on the top. Right. That's okay. It comes okay. in about there and then. Right, so I think that that's not bad, but we'll try yeah. and off we'll offer up a bit more plus, but I think it will probably be too much. But looking at the chart, yeah. um, does that make it better or worse, or do you have to hold it closer? Actually, I have to come a bit closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a bit too close. Yeah, yeah. But that, does that would that be comfortable for you? Actually, that's quite good because right. the whole range there is is okay. Right. So I think yeah. I think first time we got it right. So plus one fifty. So in the right eye, his prescription is plus is minus three two five, with an add of one fifty, and the left is minus one seven five, with an add of one fifty. The reading add is usually the same for both eyes, and uh, you literally just add the sphere, a plus sphere, onto whatever the the distance prescription is. So we're now going to be looking at the uh, cross sill technique and to see whether there is any astigmatism present.